tell you why my mic wasn't working yet. Because it was muted. Like, on the actual mic, it was... Hey, I'm actually on time this time. Back here. That. What are we playing? Twin Peaks. The game. The interactive game. Settings uh, stay the same? Yep, okay. Um. Play? Please? Work? Please? Launch? Add. Okay, uh, while the game is booting up, I'm actually gonna look up uh, DP hack really quick. Uh, should I just type in DP hack? <laughs> They're gonna give me cool things. Uh, ah, oh, stop S -s with the nonsense. Windows, fuck. Prefix deadly. Are you? Please, just open the game! Or is it because I'm tabbing out? It's because I'm tabbing out. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Give me two fucking seconds. Deadly ammunition. Seems to fix that. 2013, it's the 0.95. One. Plus, you just have to the resolution of the game. Pretty much it for some adjustments. Play with version 1.1. Play premonition. Remove the disabled joystick option. Developers. I did not before, like the in game menu. The 2560 out of the game. Fucking terrible. Blow up these. Right? German one. Uh, people who insist on playing it with color should get it. Um. I, I don't know, it seems like everything's fixed, uh, so I'm going to say it's fine, because things seem to be doing alright. I have to re-fucking open the game. Yeah, open it, but... Um... Still triggering my away screen! I switched... Oh, there it goes, haha! Alright. That's weird. It it didn't continue. Oh, is it just restarting? Where's my controller at? Ah. Oh no. Oh oh no, my chair. It's all wrapped up in my. Hey, are we gonna watch the anime again? No, no, we're not. Okay. Um. Oh, add-on setup? Is that what it was for the, uh... Unlocks the ability to buy one possible house. Perfect for long hours. Your car able to drift. I don't understand what's happening here. <laughs> what do these mean? Can I, can I select them all or do I choose one? Oh, that's cool. So I can make him look like that. It's not much different, but I'll do it. Oh. Oh. Oh! Uh, oh! Should I experience this game in its original form, or should I just fuck it all? I like the cat one. I- oh... What <laughs> the fuck are these add-ons? This is bullshit. Oh, this is ridiculous! Oh, what does it do? Money rewards times three, increase HP and attack power times three. 
Tolerance to hunger and tiredness times three, the espresso suit. Increases HP attack and cash times two, reduces hunger and tiredness times two, money rewards times three, tolerance to hunger and tiredness. I like the first one. I like this one. I guess this is my house. Oh god, I've completely fucked the game now. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, I'm sorry? Resume, I guess. Previously during the investigation, oh, cool. these puppies are making me go to another town in the boondocks again. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. Welcome to Green. I'm the sheriff, George Woodman. Oh, I want a cat suit for him. There's something in this town. You feel it, Zach? No, oh, I feel it. The coffee warned me about it. I feel it all right. I have completely fucked this game now with all these costumes that I didn't know were available to me. Anytime now. Oh, I love this song! This song is so good! Oh, it doesn't have my suit on. Do I have to go back and change it? How does that work? Police car. Okay. I know this game relies on time a lot, so fuck, I didn't even read what that said. I feel like this game's uh so what's it called whenever King the whites are white? George to thank for preparing like, a car for me. Dark so dark. A pleasant uh, surprise. Like racism, but let's take it for a spin. I don't know what it's called. Let's take it for a spin. Can I turn the uh can I turn the sirens on? I have to tell you, Zach, this place simply amazes me. Me too. The keys were left on the front hood. <laughs> and nobody stole the car. <laughs> hey, I said Values. that last time. This town has what the country needs. Values. Values. Let's head over to the sheriff's department. Oh, fuck yeah, we are. Okay, uh, I already forgot how to drive. RB. Um, wipers. Signal. Headlights. Got it. Got the master key. I would assume that lets me drive all the police cars. I don't know what a flare does. Oh, there was a way to... There was a way to change the... Um... Shit. Oh, there it is. Aha! Oh, that makes it so much better. That camera is really fast, though. Can I just hit those? Yeah, fuck off. Did that damage my car? This looks so much like a PS2 game. Oh, these- Fuck the- Oh! No! You can't- <laughs> You can't turn on- <laughs> The handling in this game is fucking atrocious! And I don't know which way to go! Does that make me drive faster? Oh, it totally does. I don't know what the brake is. I forgot. I need to turn around. Oh! I figured out what the brake is. This is fucking terrible. This doesn't feel good at all. And if you hit a turn just too hard, you can flip the car. That's alright, though. I feel like I'm throwing the camera all around. Jesus Christ. This is pretty. <laughs> oh god, this game is a train wreck. Does this game behave like Grand Theft Auto 3? Or if you look behind you, cars don't spawn? I think it- I, I feel like it does. I can use the, uh, I can use the map to steer. Except I don't know which direction I need to go. <laughs> oh, man. 
The camera's so sensitive. It shouldn't be this sensitive. I'm getting fucking motion sick just throwing it around. Okay. Oh, that's strange. There's one of those red trees there. Those red trees are bad trees. Oh, God. <laughs> the new song? Not a new song, I've heard it. That's a lie. That's one fine building for such a small town. The exterior woodwork is spectacular. Don't you agree, Zach? Yeah, I agree. I think it looks pretty good. <laughs> they have soda can door handles. State of the art soda can door handles. Ugh. <sighs> Pleasure to meet you, Agent Morgan. We've been expecting you. I'm Thomas McLean, the sheriff's assistant. Thomas McLean. And now I understand that he's supposed FBI to mimic Special the, uh, the dirty cop Morgan. from Twin Peaks. Please just call me York. It's all Twin what Peaks. everyone else calls me. Very well then, Agent Agent York. I believe I owe you a thank you for retrieving my belongings from my car. Thanks. Oh yeah, shit was no, fucked no, out there in that forest. My job. You're welcome, man. I just well, I want to help do everything I can to help the investigation. I just can't believe Anna was murdered. She was such a bright and lovely girl. Did you know her well? The music well, and the camera angles. No, not really. It really gives a weird but it's flow a very to this small game. town. I'm sorry. It's just that this is the first really big case I've ever seen. I understand. Just try to relax. Can I have a look at Anna's file now? Y yes, of course. The sheriff told me to let you through to the meeting room, but I've lost the key to the cabinet where the files are. Why don't you take a look around while I go look for it? Okay, let me know when Absolutely. things are ready. <laughs> let me look around for it. Thomas appears this is sick to be jazz. the kind and sensitive type, totally at odds with the monarch. Almost a good setting for a cartoon. Um, can I check other rooms? Oh, I totally can. Unless it's locked. Hey, okay. Well, let's have a look around. Maybe we can find cool stuff like this shit. Long-tailed flying squirrel keys. And nothing. Okay. Long-tailed flying squirrel. Keys. For what? Oh, I can change my suit. Can I change it to the... Oh, I totally can. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, fuck yes. This suit looks good. It looks great. That was a lie. This suit looks great. Okay. The kitchen room? Dumbbell? Zach, there's a name written on this dumbbell. Arnold. Hmm. I haven't met anyone by that name yet. Could it be the owner of this dumbbell? What do you think, Zach? Oh, that's a possibility. I got a dumbbell. Uh, can I use it as an improvised? Why is it giving me the option to shave in the kitchen? Gray squirrel key. What are all these keys for? No, take it. Oh, sweet turkey sandwich card number forty-four. Soon enough, I'll have enough. Uh, soon, soon enough, I'll have enough cards to build my full Yu-Gi-Oh deck. You don't, you don't want to know what happens whenever I draw all four or five pieces of the turkey sandwich? Fun fact, that's the, uh, the last uh, last battle of this game is a Yu-Gi-Oh! 
Ponytailed flying squirrel keys. It's Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! card battle with the raincoat killer. We're just gonna take all of these squirrel keys. I don't know why there's so many. Just laying around at that. Oh, fire exit. What's downstairs? I don't like that there's music playing. <laughs> you got it? Through the door? That's a nice suit. Aha! The holding cells and whatnot. Uh, it's time to go to fucking jail. Ready? That's for the warden, huh? More items. Are the keys down here? In the cells? Oh no, I can just sleep on the bunk. Like, don't mind me. Oh, sweet. You can quickly go through doors. That's... I'm glad I found that out. Be the end of our little week soon. Oh, hell yeah. Damn it. I fucked it up. Hmm. I should have known that there would be a uh, key down here. Curvy tailed? That should be just sleep, right? Fuck. Oh, I can open this one, but not the other one? I was wondering if I spread it, if it would give me a different. Uh, Animation. It didn't. Okay, well that's nice. I got uh, every set of key. Keys get. Where does this go? I feel like the layout's different. Oh no, I just didn't go the other way. Fuck. Keep opening them slow. Shit, what's this way? Oh, the gun range. Can I do this? Oh, another squirrel key! Um... Did I- did I do it? Did I do good? I don't think I've hit the target once. I got it this time? That was it. You saw it. I feel like this gun is very good. I guess it's my only option because I don't want to break my knife. And it does have unlimited ammo. Don't mind me, I'm just firing a, uh, oh, well, that's nice. I got bullets for the gun I don't have. Don't mind me, I'm just firing my gun down here. Can I just... Did it just take money away from me for, for aiming my gun at a cop? Okay, well, I didn't, I didn't expect a, uh, a penalty, but sure. It takes, it takes money away whenever I... Aim my gun at a cop, but not whenever I fire it inside of a police station. Strange. Alright, that was it. Uh, shit, I didn't check this side. There's items. Oh, that's save. i can do that in a minute. Uh, I didn't check this side, though. Which, I might not have to. Aha, quick. Oh shit, she's in her cat costume. <laughs> oh. That's not a policeman uniform. Oh, does he have a. Uh, is this a side uh, mission? Uh, George, uh, do you work out every day? Uh, of course, Agent Morgan. Exercise keeps me healthy. Same. I haven't missed a day since I 
started in high school. Oh, that's, that's impressive. Good. Remind me to get more exercise, Zach. But I can't do my full routine today without Arnold. I haven't seen Arnold around since yesterday. Arnold. It's funny you mentioned Arnold. He's a training buddy of mine. His partner Sylvester misses him too. If you see Arnold around, let me know, will you? I get it. Arnold Can't and Sylvester. And you without him. Okay. Get it. I'll keep That's an eye hilarious. out for him. That's where you, you did a good, uh... You did a good American joke there. I already did this mission. It's done. Consider it done. Guess what I found? It didn't take me any time. Found it. That was easy. George, I found Arnold. <laughs> really? Really? You didn't even take a fucking step. How did you do it? It was a bit hard-headed, but I got him to come back. Hilarious. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Arnold! Well done, Agent Morgan. Now I can work out using my normal workout menu. Good to hear that. Uh, here's a little something to show you my appreciation. Um... Oh, radical! <laughs> I got another so Yu-Gi-Oh card. I don't owe you anything, and you don't owe me anything. Absolutely no not. No changes to how we work together. Just bear that in he mind. He is pumping fucking iron. Zach, he is going at it. He needs some friends who aren't so dumb. Ah, uh, hilarious. Please let me walk. I want to leave. That was easy. That was an easy side mission. Oh boy, this is an office. There's another full-size mirror? Are you kidding me? Oh, what's up, George? A full-size mirror now on this one. That's... God, I love mirrors in games. That's so cool. Alright, out we go. Next room. Nothing in here. Uh, is this one? Nope. This one, though? Check the weather. Yeah. Uh, nice weather this morning, but it will rain uh, the whole afternoon. Extra for checking the weather. Huh. Nope, nothing. Oh, that's just an exit. Okay. Yes. Okay. That's the whole lot. Uh, Jesus Christ. Put some clothes on. <laughs> What was I looking for? I don't even remember. What is this? Is this a puzzle? What? Is, is it? Is this a puzzle? What the hell? Does it only move whenever I move? Strange. Let's talk to him. Find the key? I found all sorts of fucking keys. Wait, what did he want? Sheriff's office? I don't know which key he wanted. Uh, shit. You found the key. That's <laughs> the right one. What? Uh, he's like, ah, uh, yeah, flying squirrel. that'll do. Thank you so much. I'll bring the files right in, so please go to the meeting room. I, I don't know what, uh, what the okay. fuck just happened. Why I'll do I have 18 you. keys? Well, Zach, we just got here, and we've cracked a big case already. 
I'm gonna meet my mic. My dog might bark. The victim's name was Anna Graham. Age 18, she just recently graduated from high school this year. Put clothes on. Her dream was to move out to the city and become a model. But for the time being, she was working in the A&G diner here in town. She lived with her mother, Sally. Anna's father died in an accident in the lumber mill when she was a child. Rip. Her mother is unemployed and lives on the insurance money from her husband's accident. This is a ragtag group of fucking cops we've After got working all, on this case. Town with a low cost of <laughs> oh, Jesus. Financially, they seem to get by fine, and they led normal lives. A normal life is exactly what a curious teenager doesn't want. It's all starting to make sense, Zach. City folk, huh? No. No, I take that back. All of them can't be as bad as him. And some should have better manners. Huh. She likes to bark at people. This is a good biscuit. Oh, it's my song. I've never tasted a biscuit this delicious. <laughs> Where in town, Where can, in I town can I get these? Uh, oh, right here. Actually, I, well, I, I baked them myself. Uh, quit being so shy. Mm, that's amazing. What are you doing in law enforcement? <laughs> No, seriously. Very particular about job. biscuits, I'll have you know. The balance of milk and butter you've achieved here. Oh my. Why did Agent the music Morgan. just cut out? The autopsy's ready. You are welcome to accompany me to the Green I swear General they Hospital. made this game Emily, without headphones. Thomas, stay here and tidy up these files. Y yes, sir. We're going to use the car outside. Let's get going. I'll have to do it. You might think this is just a small town police investigation, but our inspections are thorough and solid. I'm hoping you won't slow us down. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Is the Hawaiian suit throwing you off? I have defeated 28 enemies? Plus, I have $3,000. A lot of money. I made almost all of it watching the weather. <laughs> the Greenvale General Hospital is down the road by the lake. Can it's do? too far to walk. Come on, I don't believe it. Get in the car. If I'm riding in a car, George, I prefer to be the driver. <laughs> yeah, shut can you the provide fuck a car up. for me? Get in the what car. What are you talking about? You don't even know how to get there. I can figure it out. Which is another good reason for me to drive, George. I need to learn my way around town. Oh, man. Very well. Then I'll ride with you. That was I weird. Why did he throw his arm? Fair enough. Just one thing, Agent Morgan. Your involvement in this case is limited. That means you don't have to learn your way around town. Oh, uh, but you're letting me. Checkmate, fucker. George, we better get moving. The hospital closes at 2100. <laughs> the cat suit. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Instead, let's... I have a choice. They're like, fuck off, why are you leaving? Uh, no, let's stay together. I have a jacket on now. That looks fucking very dumb. This looks really dumb. I look like the caped crusader. Let's take this one, though. I like the truck. Maybe it won't flip over as easy. How do I know if I'm hungry? Agent Morgan, get us there quickly, but drive within the speed limit. Oh, fuck because no. you have a badge doesn't mean you can drive like a maniac. Incorrect. George, what are you, his mother? We just need to get the autopsy results. Agent York isn't accustomed to the town yet. Give him a little slack. Hmm. Uh, well then, Agent York, let's uh, get uh, this Sure. Game. Sounds good. On our way. 
Uh, shit. I backed up the wrong way. That's fine, though. We can cut through here, I think. Or no, there's a fence. Fuck. We're going backwards. And... Ooh. That was a tree I hit, but no damage, so that's fine. I'll take it. Um... Where are we going? Oh shit, it's behind us. I don't know why I thought it was this way. And limit 9 to 21, food... Oh, food is 9 to 13. Okay, and the time is... Oh, 10.36. Okay, okay, that makes sense. I don't exactly know how to get to that place. He was right. Can I check a map? Oh, uh, that's not a very good map. <laughs> that helps me very little bit, but not a lot. Um, I wish there was like a uh, full map. I guess those mean cards too, those little symbols. I'm just gonna keep going this way? I don't know what this map looks like. Is it like a full circle or is this a dead end? I'm getting kind of closer. The fuck do you want from me? Did it turn me around? There's money there. Can I pick it up in the car? I can. Ooh. Okay, so that wasn't the right way. <laughs> it's okay. I got quite a bit of time to get there. Um, I guess I'll take one of these streets then. That makes really solid turns. There's the trains from Twin Peaks. Just in case you've never watched the show. Um, Jesus Christ, this is a fucking maze. Oh, it can still flip. Okay, it's gotta be this way then. I can go faster, right? Oh god, if you pull right trigger, it makes the uh, the thing spaz out. The uh, the gauge. Ooh, ooh, ooh. good thing I'm a professional driver. Like the game driver. This looks like the turn. That was almost really nice. I guess you can power slide. <laughs> Let's gas it up the hill. You take it forever. Nice. Killed it. Two wheels. Park it. Same song. It's always the same four songs. That's a pretty big hospital. I guess they wanted to be ready for uh, town-wide food poisoning? No, no. It's another leftover from the town's prosperous slumber days. To imagine now, though, isn't it? My mother always talked about how energetic this town used to be. Almost like a gold rush, she used to say. <laughs> Impressive. Great. But Thanks, George. Fever, I'd rather talk to this hot course. cat lady. And so now there's hardly anyone left to use this place. I don't think I asked you to watch my hometown lose so many citizens. Beyond your understanding, I'm sure. George. Yes, I'm sorry to say that it is. Indeed. I thought I told you I was going to talk to the cat That's lady. This case is our problem. There really isn't any need for you to get too involved. <laughs> Put some clothes on. Fuck. What a fucking ragtag group of heroes we have. We've got Catwoman, Hawaii Five-O, and Hello, Sheriff. Uh, Walking Dead. Freckly Fiona. Is her first name really Freckly? Hi there, Fiona. We're here to see Usha. Do you know where he is? I think Dr. Johnson is in the computer room. A computer room? In a hospital? Yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you, Modern Mr. Modern technology. The computer room is where our employees share a computer. Very nice to meet you, too. I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. 
how did you know I was FBI? <laughs> it's obvious by the suit. None of the police in this town wear cologne. <laughs> Besides, that scar on your face is the biggest rumor in town. Rumors get exaggerated as they spread, even in the countryside. I got it done in Hawaii, and I buy this suit. What's that you're reading, if I may ask? Oh, nothing. It's just a book about Hawaii. You haven't heard of this yet? It's a recent bestseller mystery. It's set in the U.S., a small, traditional North American town close to the Canadian border. A peaceful, traditional place. However, that peaceful town is shattered by a terrible crime. The murder of a local ridiculous. girl. And that incident causes grief and sadness to everyone in town. This is so ridiculous. Everyone feels the seditious, heinous, evil still lurking, alive. Yes? Uh, uh, this game is Yona, just... don't say that. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. With Anna dead and all... Layers don't worry. and layers. Books are written to entertain and... It's good you're enjoying it. It's a what book faced with here about what's happening in the game, in about what's happening in Twin Much Peaks. different from that of a novel. So there's no need to apologize. Thank you, Agent York. That was literally him just saying, no, Deadly Premonition is a different medium, so it's not Twin Peaks. That's hilarious. Um, Computer room? Oh, fuck if I know where the computer room is. Jesus. What was that? How am I supposed to know where the computer room is? Oh, these are spooky rooms. Do not enter. Um... Oh, well now it appears. I swear that wasn't on the screen. Ooh, how deep into this hospital can I get? Um, This is... I feel like this will go bad. I don't have a key card. Is there... Oh, secrets. Okay, well, I can't forget that that's down there. I wonder what's in there. I can shave in the hospital. Oh, hey, what's what's up? Don't mind me. Trying to find a key card. Got to be a key card in one of these, right? Actually, nothing. Hmm. The camera swivels so slow. Can I change that? No, oh, you can just invert it. Uh, invert. Uh, autosave. I didn't know that that was a an option. I might as well have that turned on. I don't remember how to get back. Locked. Key cards. I'm almost positive that wasn't on the screen, like, just a little bit ago. I don't want to head there. I want to find a key card. What the fuck is this? Why does this room look so different? Why is this room red? What the hell? That, that can't be right. This has to be something that's wrong with the game or something. That was that strange. All right, nothing that way. Uh, I think the yeah door down here. Two doors down here. Okay. It's the same red room. There's something wrong with that room. What? Uh, what did that say? Oh, that's an exit. Okay. Uh, and we head back. I was just at. That wasn't there. No, I looked around. Is that an exit? That is an exit. Oh, 
Uh, it's not an exit. Thought it was an exit. This whole area looks the same. This is what hospitals feel like in real life. All the same. What's in here? Keycard room? Oh, it's the computer room. Fuck, this we is where I needed to go. Him. Damn it. Fiona needs to check her information. No, I don't think so. Does the doctor like playing games by any chance? Hmm. What do you mean? <laughs> There's a message on the computer. And a card key already he set in place. Next to 18 the chests. king passes the rook Posters. and meets the bishop. The knight takes a pawn along for the queen. What does that all mean? It's a simple puzzle. Zach, let's take him up on his challenge. You can do this, right? <sighs> can try? What? The king passes rook and meets bishop? Knight takes a pawn to the queen? What am I... What am I... Selecting here? King passes rook and meets bishop. Knight takes a pawn to the queen. King. That's rook, right? Bishop. Or no. Knight. Wait. Knight? Queen. Knight. Fuck if I know chess. I don't even know what it's wanting me to do here. Do I just put him in order? King. Uh... Rook, bishop, knight, on. Wait. No, no, no. It says what they are. Knight, rook, bishop? No. Bishop, knight, on, queen. <laughs> what? The doctor awaits below with the deceased. Oh, Another fuck. Is that where already where I was? But there's nowhere to insert a password. More games. I'm going to get Fiona to call Usha up here right now. No need, George. The message appeared with the card key. It's telling us where to use it. God damn it. This I was already there. This is not the time to be joking around, Agent Morgan. Dr. Usha is below with the deceased. With Anna. Below being underground, I take it. Simple. Simple. God damn it. Then it's time to meet the mischievous architect of this little game. My curiosity gets the better of me, and I find the answer to where I need to go before I find the means to get there. God damn it. I have to run all the way back. Because it was all the way on the other side, right? And... Hey, what's up, uh, Fiona? <laughs> Goodbye, Fiona. Just busting through these doors. Uh, I'm gonna assume it was here. And... It was around here somewhere. Uh, hey, hey! Dissecting room. Icky storage, one, two. Dead house, sleep lab, toilet, power room. That sounds like Japanese to American translation. Oh, go! Oh, that's not good. Oh, that does not look good. Oh, that looks fucking terrible. Oh, fuck this game. This is... Oh, jeez. Controls and... Just do it. Christ. Fuck this game. Bust through it. God, that's bad. Uh, free stuff. Phone. I'm gonna use one of these. I don't know what I can buy. Wait. I can buy crackers. $35 for crackers? Twenty-four forty-five for a lollipop? What? That's ridiculous.
Dr. Usha, I presume? Usha, sorry to keep you waiting. Ah, you made it. Let's get started, shall we? Oh, I like this guy. I like his voice. This is Agent Morgan from the FBI. And this is our cat. <laughs> hmm, nice to meet you. I'm Usha Johnson, the doctor in this hospital. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. He already said that. Please call me York. Everyone calls me that. Very well, Agent York. Are you a forensic practitioner? Let's just say I've dealt with corpses before. Of course, that's your job. That battle of wits, by the way. Did you create that yourself? Mm-hmm. I just wanted to see if our FBI agent could handle the task. <laughs> I see. Well, it was pretty fun. Oh, I'm glad you liked it. We don't have much time. We need those autopsy results. George is not happy. He's not a happy man. Next time, try challenging us without obstructing an investigation. You've angered the monarch. <laughs> With them standing next to each other, there needs to be a spin-off game with the doctor From the onset York. of rigor mortis, the stiffening of the muscles, the time of death is estimated to be between 20 and 2200 hours. Uh, that's still quite early for such a crime to take place. Note that there are two exterior wounds, pressure marks around the neck, and a long cut running from chest to abdomen. Blood marks on her right hand tell us she was gripping something round in her right hand. Why did I enable the suit? I, well, I went into the settings and I found all sorts of different things I could change and now I've that is fucked up the, the, the whole continuity of the game. <laughs> oh god. Now I have a ragtag group of fuckers. I've got now, Hawaii Five-O, Catwoman, and uh, The Walking Dead. Due to the marks on her neck. That's, that's my team. After further investigation, that's the elite team. I now have a different conclusion. <laughs> The direct cause of death was loss of blood from the wound. It... Which means she I was should have used the best suit. This is the best alive. suit. Look at it. Yes, uh, a sharp knife was used. It was oh, inserted funny. York has beneath a knife. the sternum and then quickly York's sliced killer, down. Confirmed. The excessive loss of blood from her internal organs is what actually killed her. Her nails are clean, and with no skin cells from the attacker. She also doesn't appear to have been bound nor badly beaten. Uh, incorrect. I'm pretty she sure she was bound to the tree by her resistance. arms. The most tragic thing, however, was that she was unable to speak her story to anyone who could hear her cries. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is another game? What does that mean? The perpetrator cut out Anna's tongue. Well, I believe she was drugged first. <laughs> what, Emily? Cat got your tongue? <laughs> the killer. Oh, man. Now, the killer most likely has a deep, traumatized past concerning women. Or he maybe he's probably a... probably cannot converse with them normally. Horror. Cutting out the tongue suggest a very lonely individual. Either that or a truly hardcore sadist. He must get off on watching women suffer, especially when they can't answer back. Now, he watched as the blood pumped from her body as she gradually grew cold. Now, a case in Seattle in 1985 was much like... Usha, please, limit your report to your findings as a doctor. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Criminal profiling is my job. You're wrong, also. Anna died oh, fully, shit. deeply, painfully aware of what out. was happening to her. <laughs> but, uh, tell me, what time did it stop raining on the night Anna was killed? Never. It's always raining. Uh, just before I went to bed, right after the movie on TV ended, so... Around 1 a.m.? What movie was it? An Twin American Peaks. Werewolf in London. Uh, directed movie. by John Landis, 1981. 
So the rain stopped, accompanied by the ending song, Blue Moon. No. No. George, would you mind if I examined Anna myself? What more do you hope to find? Answers. I'm sure I mentioned that I have a personal interest in cases like these. Uh... Okay. Oh, God, that look, Jesus, that looks terrible. Uh, breakfast cutscene. Breakfast is in, uh... No, I don't believe so. I, I didn't know if you were talking about the one where I have, like, a biscuit in the uh, police station. But no, I, I haven't gotten that cutscene. Um, that looks like something. Look at her feet. Neatly wearing fake fingernails. Beautiful blonde hair, stunning even to death. Traces of evaporated liquid around the eyes. She must have cried before she was murdered. And the answer. Holding something in her hand, but it was removed around six hours after death. Circular with a relief shape like a peace mark. Tongue has been removed. Look at the edge of the stump. The tongue has been removed. Look at the edge of the stump. Oh, did I do it? Oh, I missed two of them. From her I, I guess that's. I'd say that Anna's injuries happened very. Oh, quickly. the sound sounds a lot poorer in quality. Speak, right she here. was then left to cry herself to death. His his voice sounds like it's in poor quality. Like it's all starting to come together. There's two optional Trader, breakfast cutscenes. Okay, there, I was confused. At the bottom, it said that I could get rain. to the hospital, or it showed like a a fork and the knife of her or whatever. Death, it was still raining. And I, I just assumed that that was always there to show you what time cheeks. you could get food. That means she was killed under a roof somewhere. Hmm. She was then carried into the woods after it stopped raining. Hmm. <clears throat> there, there's one other thing. I thought I said the profiling Her was for me. Was moved with a very blunt knife. In fact, it's more likely it was simply chopped off. Asha, are you a passionate man? <laughs> well, not particularly, I mean, but I am man enough should the moment call for it. George, how about Especially you? with Cat Lady. I'm very passionate, yes. Especially when it comes to women. <laughs> but I don't see what that has to do with anything. George, the perpetrator, is just like you. He's passionate about women. Now hold on a goddamn second, are you calling me the killer? He's a passionate kisser. This was a kiss of death. Ah, the perpetrator. That Lucio? Bit off Anna's tongue. <laughs> we'll never get a dental print from a wound like this. But this is still a big lead. Ah. A shame, but our old-time all-American sightseeing tour just came to an end. This case is now under the jurisdiction of the FBI. I'm assuming command. <laughs> oh. I need you to assist me in the investigation. What in the hell do you mean, Agent Morgan? I know I said I was passionate, but you can't think I did this. I told That's you. Not why I told I'm you that I was command, the, George. the sheriff. Of You're a suspect end. just as much as every other passionate man on earth. Let me show you something. Just bags for days. York the drug dealer. There you go. Amazing, huh? I'm sure you have a lot of questions, but most of the details are top secret. Well, do you just carry with you those on you every day? George, Emily, we should be going. No need to stay here any longer. Okay. I have to sign the release. Just give me a moment. Very well. I'll go on ahead. I can't take it any longer down here. No smoking in the hospitals. What are you on about, York? Bishop takes Queen. 
His rook takes your queen. Then your knight takes rook. And checkmate. Heck, you fucked, loser. <laughs> My first victory in the Grandmaster ranking. That doesn't count. He gave you the answer. You you didn't do it. That's York's first win. There's still no smoking in hospitals. Oh shit, it's fucked. Hmm? Zombie time to go to zombie land again. This anime is hell. Zack, they're here. There's oh his cigarette oh that did not look good, it was like going through his mouth and shit. Uh, I'll save. It was like staying in place while his mouth moved. Uh, okay. This is where I just came from. What the hell? Why is it blocking off like one little area? Do all the side quests as soon as possible. Who is that? Oh, that's the girl. I don't like this. Open it! Nothing. Spooky. Oh, sweet. More bullets that I don't need currently. Wrench is just like the pipe, but it never breaks. Ooh. Well, I'll have to start doing them. Oh! It wrecked. Do you get, uh, do you get, do you get better guns and stuff? How many crashes? Uh, none, if you don't count uh, what was going on whenever I like originally tried to start the game. Uh, the game, the game hasn't crashed at all, like on its own. It just, uh, I had to like repair the physics shit whenever I tried to start the game for the first time. I guess that's lucky, because apparently this game's trash. That's spooky. I don't like that. Is there a reload? Oh, they're like whispering shit too. That's terrible. This is like uh, Resident Evil. There was, she was like, I don't want to die. It gets a lot worse. God damn it. More bullets? Uh huh. I'll take it. I feel like the auto lock on thing is kind of cheap. <laughs> I feel like it wasn't really supposed to be in the game. I mean, of course, I'm gonna always use it, but. Is that a one shot kill? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, this way. I don't like that. From where? Why is everything so loud? Oh! Reload your gun, York. Shit! Uh huh. Nice. Great. 
<laughs> nice. I'm too good. I like how he says great. Oh, he dropped something. I haven't played this game, and after the Super Escort mission, this game crashed three times in a row. Jesus Christ. Not only fuck escort missions, but fuck having to do escort missions that many times. Jesus. Oh! Ah. Uh. There's a lot of rooms with the red stuff on it. Like the red glowy stuff. Boxes take so much. Oh, I see what's back there. Uh huh. They take so many fucking bullets. You can push boxes. He tries, doesn't he? You push them long enough, you can break them. Sweet. $90. Oh, that's cool. These move too. Oh, that's that's neat though. That's really good uh, programming or whatever. You can, you can push them, but you can't. Well, now it's not pushing. Whatever. I was going to say, you can't push them into the hallway to block your your way. Do I have the key card still? Nope. Alright, back through the door then. Or what was this way? Nothing. Yeah, nothing. Through the door then. Uh, this has the red tint to it. Oh, that's something moving under there, right? Oh, that's spooky. Black coffee. There was a room, um, whenever you first go into the hospital, there was a room that I went into before I went to, like, the main place to go. And it had, like, a red tint to it, and I was like, this doesn't look right at all. I would assume that the game just bugged and put, like, the red tint that goes on in this land into that room. It was strange. Do it, York. Do it, York. What is it? Aha, uh -huh, spooky. It's gonna keep playing the same hammering sound. You suck. You also suck. I wonder if I shoot those boxes or those uh those things if they'll explode. Nope. Is there a reload button? Aha, uh -huh, B. Except you have to press 18 other buttons to reload. Okay, it's all the way down here. Good slide. Yeah, I think it was this room, actually. But I think this room already had the tent. Do it. Stabilizer. I still don't know what that does. I never actually read it. Mission knife. Cool, I got another one. Uh, lollipop. Puts me up to like 10 or so. First aid kit. Um, is there a way to tell if I'm like tired or something? Since there's a bed, two beds. Oh shit! Wait, does it tell me there? I guess I'm not. I don't know if that means anything. <laughs> oh whatever, I'll just go. I have full health anyway. Uh, 
Uh, always are confusing. Aha! Uh -huh. Stabilizer resets my stamina, but you never need to use it. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, the stamina goes down really fast. I don't like that it auto aims onto their like ass. Don't want to die. Play the game three times and have it use the stabilizer. Fair enough. Weird that it gives you unlimited ammo on your pistol. It just seems like it does fair enough damage. <laughs> Oh shit. Don't just stand there, York. Go! Here! Over here! <laughs> what? Oh! Oh! Yes. Ah! <laughs> Got you with the teleport. Nice. Oh, look at all that free money. So many bullets. Why is the sound just getting so loud? Nothing's changed. It only takes like three shots to kill everybody, unless you get a headshot. Nice shot. I'm gonna long shot that person down there. Wonder if I can. Oh fuck! That was spooky. Oh! Do you need to just die? Jesus, that teleport was weird. That was funny, I wasn't expecting physics. What was that? Oh, bait. I know I got bait. Uh, sweet. That's cool that it, you can auto stack stuff into your toolbox. Flashlight still does nothing, I can tell. No point to it. Oh, a bunch of stuff in there. The save area. First aid kits. You're not typing anything. Half of your hand isn't on the keyboard. His face looks like a demon there. A lot of pointless things in this game. <laughs> oh, sweet, another key card. I would figure that one key card would work on all the doors, but I guess not. I'll go ahead and save just in case. If it gives me the option to, I'll do it. What is this then? Oh, another first aid kit. You do the entrance? That's what, uh, speaking of pointless things, whenever you have to, um, uh, the razor, right, and being able to shave in the cop station and the hospital, um, in the, in the police station, whenever you have to find the key, I was really confused. I guess I didn't really pay attention to what uh, Thomas was saying, but I, you, I found like 18 different keys and then he was like, oh, hey, did you find the key? And it gave me the choice to pick any of them. And I just picked the one that I didn't like the most, um, and it and it worked. But why why were there like eighteen keys? I I must have just missed the whole like I just didn't pay attention to his dialogue or something. Cause I was really confused. Oh shit! I didn't want to go to the entrance. 
Oh, good. 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 I missed all of the squirrel trivia? I, well, I mean, I picked up all the keys, but I, I didn't know what they were for. Is there a place where you could use the keys? Oh shit, can they use guns now? Is this a boss fight? Oh fuck, he does have a gun. Well, you're gonna huh? die first. Oh! He's got a fucking key blast that's charging up. So does he. I see these guys do take a lot more uh, damage. Oh, I'm not sure. Given them all the Thomas and he would have said some scroll facts for each key. Well, he asks for one so that he could open the the case, like the drawer or whatever. But it I like he was looking for a specific key. Um and I just picked the one that I didn't like. Like the one that I disliked the most, which was like the one that I, I don't even know how to describe it. And then he was like, oh, he looked at it for a second, he was like, uh, yeah, this'll work. And then open the drawer. <sighs> Have I done any side missions? Um, if the getting Arnold or George counts as a side mission, yes. I, I, I'm not sure how they, like, pop up, though. I, I just saw he had, like, a notebook above his head, but... I'm not sure that I've actually ran into any yet. Or, like, any real ones. Did my game crash? <laughs> um... Shit. <laughs> oh no, did my game crash? Oh, fuck. Is it taking a long time to load? Or did it crash? <laughs> Oh no! I think my game crashed. Oh, you have to look around for him. Oh fuck! What? Is this one of the infamous crashes? Nothing really popped up though, so I don't know. Fuck. One second. <laughs> I don't I don't know if my game crashed or I think my game crashed. Oh yeah, it totally crashed. Fuck. Oh no. Why is this game so bad? Uh yep. It crashed. Okay. Uh well, I'm gonna relaunch it and see where I'm at. <laughs> God damn it. That sucks. Uh, the game is great! Oh yeah, no, it's totally great. <laughs> oh man. Hmm. Well. I wonder where it's gonna put me. I guess it'll put me at the phone, right? Oh, but I turned on autosave. I don't know what that actually does, though. Should I, uh, should I change? Should I change stuff? Should I put on a regular suit? I like the Hawaiian suit, but I want him to look more normal. Which one's, like, the good one? Is it this one? Increases HP, attack, and cash, times 2 reduces hunger and tiredness. 
fine. I'll do that. I don't really care how like easy the game is. Emily's staying the same. All uh, staying the same. Uh, though, and I picked a chibi car because I like it. Okay, that looks good to me. Oh, where am I? Uh, yes. Yes. Previously, during the investigation, these puppies are making me go to another town in the. Can't skip this. I didn't think God you'd be waiting in the rain for It's so, so loud. No, please get rid of the Catwoman suit. <laughs> something in this town. You feel it, Zach? My coffee warned me about it. Game is so loud. So I don't understand how they fucked. I like I don't get how that's so fucked up. Okay, well that's not so bad. Oh, I like this suit. He's like an Indian. War chief, or something. Where'd you buy that outfit? Urban Outfitters. Oh fuck off! Wait, can I get it? Oh, I can. Okay, that's weird. The uh, the thing was uh, to the wrong. The red thing was like in the key card, not at the end. What if my game's gonna crash again? Okay. Um. There it is. Just auto trigger? Yeah, okay. Oh no! It's like I've seen this before. It's gonna crash again in more than once for sure. Okay. Is it is it random or it just shit just makes it crash? But then sometimes also not crash on particular scenes. I wonder how much damage I do now with this suit. I swear he just has a sick sense of humor. <laughs> the crashes are designed, right? Pull your gun out! Fuck! Why do you have not- Jesus! Why are you not ready for this? Fuck off! Only five. Shit! Ooh, that was weird. It made like a clicking sound in my headset. Did I get hit? I don't remember getting hit. Most of the time it's random, but it has consistent crashes. <laughs> They're designed crashes. I like that. I don't like that it has to pop up with a fucking... Uh, like a whole screen every time you pick something up. And you can't skip it. It didn't crash this time. I shouldn't say that out loud. It crashed here, didn't it? I don't remember where it crashed last time. I guess I'm good this time, though. Oh, that's what it was? <laughs> that thing triggered and it crashed, but it didn't crash this time. Sweet. Haha. <laughs> Luck of the draw. Oh fuck, did I just speak too soon? <laughs> did it crash again? <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh, it crashed again. <laughs> I need to change full screen to windowed and vice versa. I wonder if that's what I need to do here. God damn it. Fuck this game. Am I playing in full screen? I think so. <laughs> Is that what's causing it? Let me uh, let me change that really quick. Uh, setting. Yep, it's in full screen. Okay, I'll try it again. Um, wait, can I make this bigger though? Or am I just gonna have to change? Is 
Does that work? Not popping up. God damn it. Um. Fuck, it's not popping up in uh, OBS though. Like I can I can do my whole monitor, but I can't make the screen bigger though. And the the window capture isn't working for some reason. Like it just has a black screen. Let me try and make it again. Oh oh god oh it's all so bad oh no okay that's fine um. There we go. That's all right. Sweet. Okay. <laughs> it's dangerous Trench. to run around here, boys. Grandpa, hurry. Hurry. Uh, there we go. Oh, get that mouse out of here. Um Oh, I'll change your suit for you. It's the only choices you get are like cop and then like trashy Halloween costumes. That's the those are your only cho your only choices. Nothing cool. You don't get any cool like Hawaiian suits like York does. It's just cop or trashy Halloween outfits. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Wait, I can go back. Uh. Dog, please. Oh no 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 no. No, stop! I'm muting my mic, she's barking. Previously during the investigation, these puppies are making me go to another okay. town in the boondocks again. I didn't think you'd be so loud for so long. Welcome to Greenland. I'm the sheriff, George Woodman. Call me George. There's definitely something in this town. Do you feel it, Zach? I always feel it. Coffee. Okay, well, fingers crossed, no crashes this time. What, dogger? Quit giving me that face. Oh, it's it's weird playing this game in not full screen. Okay, uh, shit. Play. Right and toggle, haha. <laughs> Whoa, finds on the doors. I didn't see that coming. Do I have any pipes left? Uh, no. I have a knife though. Or two knives, I think. I don't remember. I don't think I have any pipes left. I don't know. Check. This fucking cutscene that's gonna play every time. Come on! Fuck! Pipe one shots, or maybe two shots to shotgun, guys. Okay. Huh? Uh, nope, just a knife. I wonder how many the knife does. Oh, the knife's only two, that's not bad. That's a lot faster. <laughs> oh Jesus, that's so much faster. Fucking shells. God, I wish there was a way to pick these up with skipping this shit. Alright, fingers crossed. There comes the, uh... Cutscene. That's why I should get the OP wrench. I believe it. How did the uh, cutscene trigger? What do I do? Uh -huh. Okay, fingers <sighs> crossed. So far, so good. Ah! 
No! Why is it? Me? <laughs> Why is this happening? Uh, you can see it starting. You can see the the fucking cutscene starting. Oh god damn it! How do I fix it? <laughs> Quick! God damn it! Uh, shit. Well, it crashed again. Is there a way to fix this? Try one more time? Okay, I'll try one more time. It was close that time. At least it, it like made it to it. So, that, I mean, that's pretty good. Like, it started to play the cutscene. Uh, wait. Alright, I'll try it one more time. <laughs> play the PS3 version. I mean, I have a PS3, but I've never seen, uh, I've never seen that game in my town at all. Uh, and I also don't have a uh, capture card. I do have a capture card, but it's not uh, a good one. But that's probably the best answer, yes. So you're not wrong. <laughs> I'm just going to do this again. Shit. I like the mini song. Previously during the investigation, these oh, puppies Jesus are Christ. making me go to another town in the boondocks again. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. Welcome. It just gets louder for no reason. It was the song. It, it was already at a good level. There's definitely something in this town. Do you feel it, Zach? Yes, I still feel it. My coffee warned me about it. Yeah, that's it. This game's sound design is terrible. In a good way. It's great because I, I can feel the charm of this game. Um, I just got I, I, I just got done watching um The Room right before I started playing this, or right before I started streaming this. Uh I had never watched it before. And uh this game feels like it has the same charm that the room does. And that it's like an absolute fucking like dumpster fire, but it's a good dumpster fire. Only played the 360 version, but you do own two copies for the PS3, including the collector's edition. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm sorry, I, I miss misspoke. The sound design's really good, but yeah, the the fucking levels in this game, Jesus Christ. I don't think I noticed him tapping his chest in the uh, in the in this cutscene for the four times that I've watched right now. I didn't notice that. Okay, I feel good about this one. <laughs> Lots of chest tapping. I, I thought I had full health last time. I don't understand. I think my health keeps changing. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the last time I played this little bit, I had full health. Which would be like the third time that I played it, I guess. Okay, guys. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> Here it comes. I can't watch. <laughs> I'm closing my eyes. I'm so nervous. Oh, fuck yes! Morgan, if you're so oh, I can't believe it! Why not smoke two at once? It... <laughs> oh. 
Oh, man. Who's that old man? <laughs> that, that's Skeletor. That's Harry. Harry Stewart. One of the bigger problems around here. His father started up the lumber trade and founded this town. Well, he's a weird one, as I'm sure you can see. Always dressed like that, never speaking to the townsfolk. And just FYI, he owns almost the entire town. Not that that makes any difference. So long as I'm around, he won't be getting away with any funny business. Here he is, capitalist. He's got speakers in his neck. That's what's playing the sick jazz. Mr. Francis York Morgan. Haste won't lead you to what you seek. Keep your eyes focused on your footing as we speak. So says Mr. Stewart. Do you want to go as Harry? <laughs> nice to meet you too. That'd be dope if you had somebody to I go as, uh, name. I just missed his name, but th this guy as well. It's like a, a, a dual costume deal. Mr. Francis York Morgan, information desires you, just as you desire information too. So says Mr. Stewart. Harry, stop trying to get in our way. Keep this up, and even you'll have to answer to the law. Mr. Francis York Morgan, with each rain our town goes mad. To our disdain, unpreventable, so sad. So says Mr. Stewart. Thanks for the warning. Then we shall depart, Mr. Francis York Morgan. Oh, please, just call me York. It, they, they, okay, so... That's it's not wrong. Is. There's four I'll songs that they use in this nonsense. game, Don't and it's hilarious God. because they try and gibberish. shape, like, because music is usually used to, like, shape the way a scene uh -huh. feels. Oh. But they use the same four songs. Okay, thank you, Thomas. So, it just all Agent feels York, wrong. We've contacted the first witnesses to the crime scene. You can interview them where they found the dead body. Excellent. Amazing. I was just about to ask if you could take me there. Sweet. It's McCree and Lucio. <laughs> Before they were famous. It is four very different songs, but it's just it's just so strange hearing it cut from like like it's like it like there's one song that builds tension and they use it for the first half of a scene that's in one room, and then they change the song to another one. In, in while they're in the same room, it's like it's like they're used, trying to like like build tension in the first half of the scene and then cut away all that tension in the second half, and it just seems so strange to me. Um, uh, you guys want to hear a fun fact? <laughs> My game just crashed again. <laughs> oh man, what the fuck is wrong with this game? <sighs> Do I remember the cutscene with Polly? I don't recall the Polly, no. Fuck. Uh, yeah, I believe it autosaved. Me, uh, relaunch it. I hope it auto saved. I'm glad I turned that on. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what does that say? It looks like it's an AG if anniversary.
They should just change that to saying <laughs> any resemblance to Twin Peaks is purely coincidental. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yep, it saved. From the hotel. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I remember. Uh, I remember Polly. I've, I'm gonna have a really bad time with names. It started with the whistle theme, and then it was attention. It, it, exactly, that's what I'm saying. Like, like it builds. Like, it just, it it takes one scene, and and it'll chop it up into like two separate feelings or three separate feelings, and it'll just go back and forth, and it's just so weird. Previously, during the investigation. These puppies are making me go to another town in the boondocks again. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. Welcome to Green. I'm the sheriff, George Woodman. Call me George. There's definitely something Not in the problem, town. Woodman. Do you feel it, Zach? My coffee warned me about it. Figures cross that it actually starts the uh, <laughs> cutscene. <laughs> This is what makes this game such a good piece of media. I believe it. My game crashed again. <laughs> I shouldn't say that yet. It, it doesn't say not responding yet. So I guess to be fair, it hasn't crashed yet. It crashed. <laughs> Should I change it back into full screen? Is this the time? Just switching it to full screen again. <laughs> but, okay, my favorite this 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 is my favorite thing about this game. In that, yes, it may have been originally for 360 and PS3, and yes, it may have had FPS problems on the 360 and PS3. But I feel like this is the definitive version. I feel like I feel like people need to feel the pain of the game crashing multiple times over and over. Um. To, to really, f really get the, the feeling of this game. They need to keep fucking with the settings until they can actually get to get, get the game to play right. This is the definitive version. Why did the game just close? Oh, Jesus, I'm opening up programs now. That's fine. The, uh, the console versions of this game need to have those designated crashes. <laughs> <laughs> They're like mini games, but frustrating. More frustrating. Crash crashes are part of the experience, exactly. <laughs> um, fingers crossed. Previously, during the investigation, time for the same. God damn it! The sound just increases for no reason. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. Welcome to Green. I'm the sheriff, George Woodman. Call me George. There's definitely something in this town. Do you feel it, Zach? My coffee warned me. I will never not stop feeling it. I feel good about this one. Christ. God damn it. <laughs> Why? I just want to play the game. God damn it. But yeah, I guess I do. Uh, okay, uh, so my question for you now with DP Fix. Uh, give me one second. Shit, close- stop! Close the game! It's just not closing. Oh, there we go. Okay, um, so with DP Fix, I looked it up before I started playing today. Um, and my question to you is, is there only one version? Because, like, there's a post for the Steam community, um, that was from October 29th, 2013. 
But I don't know. Is there only one? Oh, you don't know. <laughs> Fuck. Um, I like that the top uh, video result is how to make Deadly Premonition PC playable. Okay. Uh, DP fix. Um. 0.9.1. Wait, oh, yep, I guess that's it. Oh, you had no problems? Lucky duck. Okay, uh, I think this is it. Maybe? I think this is the latest one. Oh, yeah, they stopped uh, updating it in 2013. You installed XP for this game. Uh, I would assume I just put these in its folder, so that's what I'm gonna try and do. Common. Is it called? Deadly Premonition. Yeah, the .95 version. That's, uh, that's the one I downloaded. Um, shit, where is this gonna go? Is, <laughs> maybe it'll explain how I do this, uh, how to do this in the website. Um, ELL files, but then there's also a folder called DX, which goes drag and drop. Oh, read me. There's a read me. Haha. <laughs> I didn't see it. Okay. Uh, the previous version. The uh, contents of the zip file in the game's binary direction or directory. The place where dp.exe is. Okay. Place the content. Okay. And then what did it say? Uh, just the settings, fix I and I. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. Uh, shit. Your height. I don't know what settings to make this. Fuck. Um. I think my computer can handle that? Filtering. Uh, leave that off. <laughs> Adjust shadow map resolution. One is the default best performance low resolution shadows. Two, four times shadow resolution, lower performance good resolution. Or, or four, eight times shadow resolution, in parentheses, overkill. Fair enough. Um... I think I can just leave these the same. It matters. Would it make the game run better if I ran it in windowed full screen? I'm gonna turn that on. Okay. Save. Let's try this. Fingers crossed. Uh, fuck. I I think it may. I think that game looks worse. God damn it! <laughs> I I think it's running it because I it's I think it said it's running in nineteen twenty by ten eighty or maybe it's just because it's scaling it. Um, it's just the wording on these look. Look like they're more um, pixelated. 
that may be because it's scaled. Oh shit! I don't think I have controller support. Oh, I do. Does this game look better? I, I think it looks darker. It looks darker. Previously, during the investigation, these puppies are making it me is go darker. to another town. It is darker. I what the hell? <laughs> keep me waiting in the rain for so long. Welcome to Greenland. I'm the sheriff, George Woodman. Call me George. There's definitely something in this town. Do you feel it, Zach? Yes. My coffee warned me about it. Fingers crossed that this fixes it. Sweet. The body was found in the Greenvale Forest Park. That's look at it. Look at his uh, license plate. Too far to walk. A forest park. This video games. <laughs> it's the pride of the town. Hilarious. It has a beautiful trail leading to a viewing site over Velvet Falls. That does sound fantastic. Show me the sights. Uh, that may have to wait. We promised to be there by 1800 to interview the first witnesses to the crime scene. Does this game look better? I feel like it does look better now. Like, the textures still look like trash, but I feel like this game does look better. Does my suit look better on me? I messed something up in the settings? It looks good though, right? Like, it looks fine? Okay, um... So... Uh... What's going on? What's, uh... That's the main mission. I would assume. And then, what's this? Alright, never mind. Is this the part where I can go get, uh, breakfast? God damn it! The game just crashed. Fuck! <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I thought it was going so well. Fuck! Okay. Um, maybe it was the uh, AA quality that made it darker. Um, what would fix this? <laughs> I don't think any of these really matter. Um, let me turn that on. Try that. I should have saved, right? <laughs> oh. Drive with them until they run out of dialogue and then ditch them and go do fun shit. Fair enough. If it'll let me. Okay, it's running in true borderless full screen mode now. I feel like that's probably what's fucking it, though. I think it looks kind of dark. How, uh, or, uh, it looks kind of nice how it's darker. Previously, during the investigation, these puppies are making me go to another. I'm sick of this fucking cutscene. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. Welcome to Greenland. I'm the sheriff, George Woodman. Call me George. There's definitely something in this town. You feel it, Zach? My coffee warned me about it. Uh, no, I don't think I can skip it. <laughs> Maybe I can. I've been pressing the face buttons, but I think start might skip it. I've been, like, tapping A and B. But I think I just skipped the tail end of it there. Motherfuck! God damn it! It's playing the song, but it's not playing the cutscene. Maybe I'll just let it play. This is this is the, this is the definitive version of this game.
<laughs> this is a good game. Oh, there goes the music. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Okay. Just force it until I get a save. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. This is this is garbage. Can I skip this stuff? I can't skip this stuff though. Wait. No, I can't skip this stuff. God damn it. Not run it in borderless. Okay. If it crashes again, I'll go change more settings. <laughs> It's a good game. I like this game. I'm having fun. Previous. You can't skip it. <laughs> Neat. This game's all about speed. How fast, how much can you play before the game fucking crashes? Which is zero. You can't play any of it. Alright, let me uh, turn off um, Borderless. Uh, this one. Okay, so it's. Wait, I saw it. Um, borderless window full screen mode, zero. And run the game in normal window, non full screen mode. So, zero. Okay. I'll try that. <laughs> Fingers crossed. I wish it would play music. Am I running it with a 98 compatibility? Uh, no. I don't, I don't think so. I feel like I'm speedrunning this game. I don't know how fast I get through these menus. Oh, so far, so the good. found in the Greenvale Forest Park. That's west from here. Too far to walk. A forest park? It's the pride of the town. It has a beautiful trail leading to a viewing site over Velvet Falls. Well, that does sound fantastic. Show me the sights. Uh, that may have to wait. We promised to be there by 1800 to interview the first witnesses to the crime scene. <laughs> Just run to a phone. Uh, where's a f there's a phone over here? Yeah. Sweet. All right, game saved. Okay, what's that? Uh, I'll just ditch him now. Uh, yeah, I'll try and be on time. Oh, okay, that's redoing a mission. Okay. Uh. Will I get a car? And uh, I'll go get breakfast, I guess. Zach, we need to get to Greenvale Forest Park. It's apparently quite a distance, so check the map. I got plenty of time. Whoop! Oh, Whoop! Oh. Oh shit! Whoa, that was fucking awesome! Oh, I ditched him too early? Fuck! Can I still can I still go get uh, breakfast? I really don't like the car handling in this game, but I really also really love the car handling in this game. So, Zach, 
Oh, sweet. About those bonus features in DVDs nowadays. You know, the ones from the 80s have almost no bonus material. Even if they do, it's a trailer and the visual quality is pretty bad. Well, that visual quality is a good reminder of those days. So many new audio and visual appliances were coming out back then. Do you remember the first video deck we bought? We bought it to record one of the Star Wars movies on TV. And remember when that video store opened, we spent hours there, just trying to find a good movie to rent. There weren't that many to choose from back then. I remember renting some really bad ones after reading those back cover taglines. Hey, remember? Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, filmed in 1978. Produced, directed, written, and edited by John DeBello. It was really awful, but for some reason I still remember it pretty well. It had so many sequels, and the original was re-released in 95. The 87-minute long theatrical release bumped up to a whopping 90 minutes. But that was around the time I joined the Bureau. I never have a chance to see it. I know, Zack. Once this case is over, we can watch it together. I bet we can buy a copy on the internet pretty easily. That's fun. These shortcuts? Uh, yeah, how, how do I find, uh... It says there's something... Oh yeah, there's a card there. How do I get out of the car? <laughs> oh, hey, never mind. Figured it out. Side mission tab. Alright, I'll take a look at it. Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? Yes. Well, just do as you please. We can uh, head to the forest later. That's a maze. But there's a mini-map, so it makes the maze easy. Gotta go, gotta go get this, my, my Yu-Gi-Oh card, fill up my deck. Olivia Cormac, spoilers. Okay, um, shit. Uh... Wait, uh, where's the side mission tab? Fuck, that's, a, that's an annoying sound. Oh, cool. Slowly building my Yu-Gi-Oh deck. It's on the map screen. Okay. Um, oh, side mission? Wow, that I don't like that. Uh, I don't think it's giving me anything besides the one that I already did. Yeah. I guess I can get breakfast there. There's a card. Um, I don't understand what LT and RT are doing. Uh, that's the main mission. Oh, you can fish there? Okay. Um... This is a really big map. Okay, I think I can get breakfast close to me though. I can do that. I think it was just down the street. Faster, York. Oh, this is neat. I like this. How is he running like this? Spooky, right? Okay, um... Okay. Yes, it. Zach, we need to get to Greenvale Forest Park. It's apparently quite a distance, so check the map. Wait, I thought there was a place... Fuck. Oh, there's another guard out there. 
Oh, I hate this fucking camera. This camera is really bad. Oh! Oh, it's so sensitive. I have to collect all the cards. I wonder what this will be. Jack the Raging Bull. When are they going to start the, um, the Deadly Premonition interactive card game? That needs to be released on Steam. Somebody needs to make that. Zach, we need to get to Greenvale Forest Park. It's apparently quite a distance, so check the map. It's a gas station up here. It's got to be a place that I can get food. Oh yeah, this is town. Okay. Card. That way. What's this place down here? Look at that fucking park job! That was amazing! Milk barn. Have I tried peeking in windows? No. That trips me out. <laughs> I park a car there, and I get out, and I'm all the way over here. Uh, so I would assume this is, uh... I just- I want this to be, um, Juness. There was crowdfunding for the Deadly Premonition board game, and it went way past the goal. Yo! Okay. That sounds awesome. That sounds really fucking cool. Okay. I like this place. Suspect. Can I actually buy stuff here? You talk this guy. So you're the talk of the town. Ingram. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please call me York. That's what everyone always calls me. The name's Keith. A pleasure meeting you, York. Sure is a big scar. It's bigger than I thought it would be. So, Keith, I have a couple of questions about the incident. Huh? Sure, fire away, man. Did you know Anna Graham? Yeah, of course, man. Poor little Anna. She was such a nice girl. I mean, what kind of sicko would do that to her? Well, I'm here to catch that sicko. Listen, even the smallest piece of information might be useful to me. If there's anything you noticed or want to let me know, contact me. Okay, will do, bro. You got my cooperation, FBI. Another thing. <laughs> I'll be frequenting your store during my stay here. So I'll see you around. <laughs> sure thing, bro. We got what you need. So drop in any time. <laughs> Read some of the food labels. Oh yeah, you can. <laughs> Anna Jemima, nice. Dog food. USB cereal. <laughs> All these meats. Look at that bread. Or that stuff is backwards. Wait. They made that one backwards. He has pictures. What is that him? He has pictures of himself in his store. Wait, can I buy stuff from him? Or is he just suspect? Let's talk. Talk to his wife. Was his wife in there? I'll go back in. 
Hello, Dogger. Can you talk to him to buy stuff? Oh, I guess that was just like an initial dialogue. Hey, bro! Oh, yeah, sweet. Let me take a look. I guess Lily's his wife. Uh, wait, a shovel. That's cool. You you can you can buy stuff is so. I buy a pack of cigarettes, man. Oh, that'll be a hundred and fifteen dollars. Jesus Christ. Let me get some crackers. Oh, that'll be nineteen fifty six. Uh, I would assume that I need. Should I buy? The, should I just go ahead? And, I'm gonna go ahead and buy the fishing rod. I'm gonna do that at some point. And I'll buy some bait. I pick. I think I pick some of it up, but I'll buy some bait too. How much money do I have? Almost five thousand. I would assume I probably don't need anything else. I haven't used any items yet, so. You get money for doing nothing. <laughs> okay. Uh, really? Aha! FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. And you are? Lily Ingram. My husband owns the convenience store, and we have two sons. I like to think that I'm just a regular wife in a regular family. Aside from the point that our sons were the first witnesses to the crime scene. You seem pretty calm considering their involvement oh, okay. in such a big murder case. <laughs> you think so? I'm glad to hear that. Anyway, if I looked all bleak and gloomy, I think it would inside. hurt our business. Uh, she Agent Morgan, about that scar. Uh, Lily, please don't call me that. Call me York if you can. People have been calling me York for a long time. You're a silly one. No, not at all. I'm just a regular special agent. <laughs> so what were you about to say, Lily? Huh? About my scar? Um, I'm sorry. I seem to have forgotten. It's because you said something silly. I see. Well, if you remember anything important, just let me know. I will. I'll probably be making use of your store during my stay here. So I'll see you from time to time. Okay, I'll see you soon then. She looks. She she sounds like she's brainwashed. Okay, so um, then Keith and Lily are the husband and wife and mother and father of the two kids. I don't know. Is it Isaac? Talk to her again. Um, was the one kid named Isaac? I don't know if those two angel kids are the two kids. I would assume Hi they're there. the same. Oh, is that what that number 18 was Was on her head? Uh, this, oh, shit. I was like, wow, this really fucked up, but... Okay. That's a good angle. I like that. Uh, get our supplies from the city, so we should have... Wait, no problem? Can't find what you want. Please, dog. Please. Please. Better when he's confident. On a notebook. Uh, and the number means side quests. Aha! Uh -huh. Chaos, thank you for the follow. Have the patience to carry out that strategy. Now stop being silly. Well, did you want to buy something? Uh, so she'll have a di difference? Oh! Okay, and she's got stabilizer. She's got the good stuff. <laughs> Let me just eat onions and eggs, please. Book salmon. Oh, gee, she has so much more stuff. Turkey, a hundred dollar turkey sandwich. That's got to be a pretty good fucking turkey sandwich. Eat. Okay. Done shopping, give me your mission. Hi there. 
what you have to say. You always look like a busybody. Is the job working you that hard? <laughs> it's not so bad, hon. I've gotten used to it now, really. You seem to be taking it easy. Sometimes it's important to take a laid-back approach. Pressing forward too quickly can be a recipe for disaster. <laughs> You're being silly. Oh, yeah. Hun, if you have time on your hands, can I ask you a favor? Such as? Nothing major. It's just our storage room is a total mess. Keith just makes it worse every time he tries to clean it up. And I can't move the heavy boxes in there. I used to ask my father to help us out, but... And he well, found a dead body. he's not that young anymore. <laughs> of course, I'll give you something in return. If you tidy the place up, I'll give you this. What's that? A bronze card. It's a discount card oh, for the milk barn. You'll be able to buy things cheaper with this. I think it'll help you lower your investigation expenses. So you're saying that helping you out will ultimately Puzzle help the investigation. Zach, what do you think? I don't mind if you want to help her. Zach, quit for crow. Absolutely, let's do it. Thank you, hon. The storage room is this way. That's a good sound effect. Uh, no, I'm good. I know what I need to do. Move the boxes in the storage room onto the pattern section of the floor. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Um. Shit, I wish it was still top down. Um. Okay, uh, this one, this one goes there, because I can push it forward one and over to the side. Oh shit, wait. No, yeah, and then I can go back up and stand in this square and push it down. Um. Can you pull, or can you only push? You can only push. Okay. That means this one has to go there. And then that one. Oh yeah, this is super easy. Okay. I got it. Yep. And then this one. Go down one. Maybe observe this top down. Nah. Just says some stuff. That's fine though. I got it. Alright, and then this one. Yeah, it was over. Yep, you can stop pushing now. You hit the wall, you're good. Over. The music just starts and stops when it wants to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too easy. Thank you, hon. You've been a big help. You're a real hero. A hero? You just can't leave those who need help alone, can you? I can tell you now, hon. You're that kind of guy. Anyway, here's your reward, hun. You've earned it. Wait. I wonder how much it drops the prices. We'll give you a discount from your next purchase. Thank you, Lily. We'd better be careful not to get carried away and overspend, Zach. Agent York, you're a good person. My father doesn't seem to appreciate you yet, but I do. And I'm sure Keith and the boys feel the same. Come by any time, okay? Where'd you go? I don't know how much, uh, I wonder Hi how much there. it drops the, uh, prices. Well, the turkey sandwich was a hundred dollars, and now... Uh, okay, well... Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. And now to go find breakfast. There we go. Put it in there. Oh, Jesus. Ten percent's not a bad discount. Too bad the prices are still fucked, but not a bad discount. <laughs>
I mean, would you rather pay a hundred? Oh, fuck! My game crashed! God damn it! <sighs> my game crashed again. <laughs> oh, man. The first... The, yesterday, whenever I was streaming this game, I had such high hopes. Because you guys were telling me about how many, like, bugs it has, and the crashes and everything. And I played for, for what, like an hour, I think? Or a little bit over an hour, and I was like, wow, it hasn't crashed in a whole hour. And there was no, um, there was no, uh, somebody, I don't remember who said the, the car sound glitch, and there was none of that, or the bug, there was none of that. And I was like, wow, I must be, I must have a lucky download of this game, and there's no problems. But Jesus fucking Christ. This is like the tenth crash. <laughs> My God, this game. It's a good game. This is a good game. Should have saved after you walked out. I have no clue. <laughs> I don't know how often the auto save actually auto saves. Let me double check. Um, I might I might call it there for today. If it's gonna keep crashing, I might try and uh, play around with it a little bit more. See if I. C I mean, I know I, it's. I'm sure it's still gonna crash, but I might uh, play around with the settings a little bit more before the next time that I try and stream the game uh, to see if I can make it a little bit more consistent. Even though that's probably not a thing, uh, I'll still double check with it. I I just need to see where where it's gonna drop me at. Uh, start. Uh, I'm nervous. I don't know where it's gonna drop me at. If you fix makes the game crash more often sometimes. <laughs> oh, there is no middle ground for this game. Fucking Christ! It's starting me back in the telephone. <laughs> Oh man. God damn it. This is gonna be a really fun LP. <laughs> this is gonna be a goddamn blast. I okay, I can try launching it without it. I'll that's what I'll do. I'll just keep it. I'll keep those files uh in a separate folder. Um and then if I need it. Um Can you save from the menu? Or uh, can you only save from phones? I feel like that's a stupid question. Why would there be phones if you could save from the menu? Yeah, but I guess it's only from the menu. Fuck. Yeah, I'll just have to start saving a lot more often. I wonder if that autosave is still on or if it didn't save my option. No, it's on. I think that's just like after certain points in missions though. Fuck. Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna call it there. Uh, oh, hey, I guess since it started me here, I can uh, exhaust their dialogue, so that works out pretty well. But, oh, Jesus Christ. Yep, I'll play, I'll, I'll play around with it a little bit more, see if I can't uh, make some changes to it. See if I can figure anything else out about making it run better, which I don't think is an option, but I'll try. Um, I might be on intermi intermittently through the rest of the week, like I said yesterday. Um... I'll, I'm, I'm, I might just start trying to stream whenever I play with friends too, uh, but like I said, we play like Overwatch, Siege, um, I play Yu-Gi-Oh! online, um, and other stuff. Uh, but yeah, so I'll try and stream intermittently through the week. It may not be on the same time frame that I play this game, but next Sunday and Monday, I'll definitely be returning to this. Uh, thanks again, thanks again uh, for stopping by. And uh, <laughs> I'll try and get this game to run better. But then again, it probably won't anyway. So I'll see you guys later. I wish I could get it to play the music. I like the music in this game. Bye.